Hello friends, welcome back to Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we are going to set up Ruby programming environment in Visual Studio Code. Let's understand. Ruby is a dynamic open source programming language known for its simplicity and productivity. It is often used for web development with a range of different frameworks and for scripting. If you want to work on Ruby with Visual Studio Code. So, so first we need to install it on system. So here I have given the steps that we are going to follow one by one. Let's begin with the step one. Here we will see the installation of the Ruby on the Windows 11. This is the download link, the same link present in the description. You can get this link from that place. Open the browser, put in the address bar, press enter. And you will see this page here we have different kinds of version of the ruby so we have to click on this first link and downloading will start you can see the size is 128 mb now you have to go here on the exe and just click on it then you will see the launcher and select these checkbox click next and you will see the progress bar right here we have to wait for this progress bar to complete Okay, after that you will see this kind of uh, window and click install. Then you will see the command prompt window here you can see Ruby installer 2 and we have these three options. We have to select one of these options and this is asking us that which component we want to install. If we are not sure we can simply go with the default press enter. Soon you will see some progress here on this command prompt and you will see that activity like this this time the download process is in progress and some packages are being downloaded and those will be unpacked and set up on your system within few seconds you will see this message so we have uh, completed our first step ruby installation successful and now we have to verify our installation for that we have to open the command prompt and here at the command prompt we have to type simple command ruby space hyphen v press enter and then you will see this kind of message this will display the current installed ruby version that means we our ruby installation is successful now we will type one more command irb press enter then we will go inside the ruby command mode here we can type some uh, ruby statements and we can run it so here i am typing a simple put statement press enter and you can see the result on the console now we are going at the step two in this step two we will install ruby extension as well as we will install one more extension which is code runner that will help us to run the ruby code inside visual studio code let's open the visual studio code okay go here at this extension search type ruby then you will see so many results you have to select the first one with red color gem okay go here click on the install this will not take uh, much time and this kind of message you will see once the installation is done of this extension then go in the search again type code runner then you will see some results you have to click on the first one dot run this is the logo and this is the code runner so code runner plugin will help you to run different kind of programming files easily and now click here in on the install button this will install quickly okay now go to the explorer so in the explorer if you have already any project folder you can open it here or simply you can create one project folder for you so this time i have already created folder and this is just opened here so what we need to do go to the file click on the open folder and select the project folder in which you want to put your ruby files so this way i have opened up here and we have some uh, demo ruby files present 
so I will delete those files first and I will create new file to show you so here we need to click and then just need to type the file name dot rb so ruby file will go with rb extension press enter and your file is created and opened here in the editor mode now we can write a simple statement here and then we will try to run it so same port statement and going to print a simple string hello cool it help that's it Control s save this file do the right click and then you will see this option run code also you can go on the right hand side and you can click on this play button as well click on the run code and you will see the result here in this output tab this is so simple to set up the ruby environment here inside the visual studio code so guys this is all about the installation of ruby programming environment inside the visual studio code if you found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and please subscribe to support and for now thanks for watching cool it help